Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video. Today, let's solve this problem minimum increment operations to make array beautiful from the weekly contest 369. And I recommend you to switch the playback speed for your better experience. So, our flow will be in this way. First, we will understand the question clearly. Then, we will see different approaches. Then, we will build a recursive relation. Then, we will memoize it. Then we will see bottom up solution then we will go for high level of the coding part and we will see time and space complexities then we will try to optimize it optimize the space complexity or time complexity so first thing first let's understand the question here you are given a zero index integer array numbers having length n and an integer k he will give in the numbers this is the numbers and you have given the k you can perform the following increment operation any number of times choose an index i in the range and increase numbers at index i by 1 you can choose any index uh, from these numbers and you can in, uh, increment that number an array is considered beautiful if for any subarray with size 3 or more its maximum element is greater than or equals to k he is saying that suppose i have a subarray of 3 4 and 5 and my k is 5 now the subarray with size 3 subarray of size 3 or it can be greater than 3 greater than 3 the maximum element is greater than or equals to k in this now subarray size 3 the maximum element is 5 and it is greater than or equals to 5 suppose uh, in the same scenario we will take another example 3 4 4 now if you see uh, my element maximum is 4 but the k is 5 so I can perform this operation one number of time and I will match it to 5. So he is saying that we need to return the minimum number of increment operations needed to make array beautiful. We need to return the minimum minimum number of increment operations. So I think you understood this question. And first let's see 3 is saying 3 or more. Okay, if it is satisfied with 3 subarray, suppose it is satisfied with uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, it is satisfying with 3 subarray. It definitely will satisfy with 4 subarray and it will satisfy with 5 subarray, 6 subarray. In subarray size increases also, it will satisfy because we are uh, making uh, subarray 3 true, then definitely all the big subarrays will be definitely become true. Uh, I think you have got the question clearly. So, first let's see. First, let's think like we are taking this example 23002 and here we are given k is equals to. 4 here k is equals to 4 now if you see this 23002 k is equals to 4 uh, this is the modified array this modified array is something that we are subtracting uh, it is like nums of i nums of i is equals to max of k minus nums of i comma 0 i am taking uh, this as my modified error because we want we want to match it to k we want to match it to k now if you see here this is 2 and it will be 1 now at 0 it is 4 4 and it is 2 now k is equals to 4 now if you see uh, we are considering subarray of size 3 right if 3 is satisfied every all subarrays will be satisfied now i can take this and this this is size is subarray 3 and this size is subarray is 3 yeah, then I can take this or I can take this. Now 2 plus 4 is 6 and 1 plus 2 is 3. In this the minimum is 3, 3. Yes, my answer is satisfied. Okay, whether this greedy will work. Let's see another example. Now suppose you have given Sabere this and this is my modified. This is my modified. Now if you observe here, now you can take this 4 and this 6. My answer is 10 or else 8 comma 0 my answer is 8 and 0 comma 2 my answer is 2 in this the minimum is 2 minimum is 2 but I use if you observe carefully here if you observe it now in this sub array we have 10 which is satisfying my k is equals to 8 condition and in this sub array I have 10 and in this sub array also it is satisfying and this sub array is also satisfying how is yes, this 2 now these two tens are making my answer valid okay so this zero 
this zero okay greedy will definitely will fail because you can cons- you can take this element and this element and how you will know about that how you know about we don't know right so greedy will fail we have failed the greedy now let's think about dp whether dp will work or not uh, let's consider this as our uh, our modified array and suppose if i take this element if i take this element i can take this this or this i plus 1 i plus 2 or i plus 3 and suppose if i am taking 8 i can take 0 6 or 0 is yes, because if you are taking this and these two elements can be taken this element should be taken to make this uh, this side sub array um, this side sub array uh, to to make this side sub array beautiful sorry sorry for that <laughs> big delay and this is my modified array now we will see the recurrence relation suppose we are at i we are at i then we can go to i plus 1 i plus 2 or i plus 3 yes because we can take this or this or this now after taking this three we want minimum we want minimum of a comma b comma c because if you if you are here if you are at 10 then you can take two or you can take this 10 or this six but you want from all this you want the minimum in in which minimum number of operations are uh, there we want to take that we want to take that now we got this minimum okay what will be my my base case base case will be if i is greater than or equals to n we will directly return zero this will be my base case now let's see i is changing continuously then definitely we can think about memoization so f is like a solve only i have uh, to write it to make it more appear on the paper on the screen i have taken f now if you take this is my start i can start with 0 1 or 2 anything from anywhere you can start you can start from here or here or here you you have three choices if you are starting from this choice you will take this this and this if you are taking a tate you will go this here and here you will every time you are incrementing plus 3 if you see i will take 0 1 2 and if you see here this f of 1 is repeating and this f of 2 is repeating and here see f of 2 is repeating here and f of 4 is repeating and everything is repeating so you can say that this is a sub problems are exist so we can apply memoization as well okay we have we have came till here we have to, um, we have understood the approach then we have built a recursive relation then we saw memoization now we will see like uh, we will see high level of the coding part uh, i recommend you to code yourself because uh, if you see the recurrence relation and you can code then it's like you are you, you will be good at uh, recurs recursions so i recommend you to code and here you can see nums dot length is 10 power 5 so my order of n will be valid so if you here my the recurrence relation i have declared the this should be long long because if you see here 10 power 9 into it can go to 10 power 5 it is 10 power 14 my integer integer can't store that much big value so i will take long long and here we have mem set long long and answer equals to minimum of it zero index it one index and two index i am starting if it is then i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 3 it's same like recursive relation we are adding this v of i where we have added here this v of i we are considering this and then we are making the minimum of a comma minimum of b comma minimum of c then this is my uh, base condition i is greater than we are returning zero and we have added the mem set we have added the mem set and we have added dp and i think you know like dp we are storing in the cache dp like memorization is like a cache memory where we will store the results to use for the uh, future uh, further operations so i think you have got this dynamic programming approach now let's see this bottom up this bottom up now if you observe it index 0 1 2 we are directly storing we want to store that index values because if you see here we are starting with 0 1 2 and we are storing that so if you are at 0 my answer will be at one index my answer will be at dp of 0 and at one dp of 1 dp of 2 then if you come here at index 3 i can go to minus 1 minus 2 or minus 3 in this i want the minimum i want the minimum in the answer also we after getting dp this is all my dp array there can be three possibilities this is n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 if this is satisfying then definitely all this 
will be satisfied so my time complexity would be order of n my space will be order of n and but if you observe it we we are taking only three indexes i minus 1 i minus 2 i minus 3 you can reduce it to order of 1 uh, you can reduce the space complexity but time complexity will not be decreased order of 1 you can try it yourself like you think this is else um, this has an uh, upgraded version of this problem to solve it in order of 1 so i think we have went for time complexity and we have optimized it and i think you understood this uh, solution if you understood please please do like and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching